track uh, back in the mornings tonight. Uh, it's approximately 6.30 p.m. It's the um, 18th of July. The weather's been really bad with really heavy showers, heavy winds, 44 mile an hour winds. So we're hoping to summit camp on the top of Slee Burner, uh, Burner tonight. Uh, we have a 55 Blue Alpine rucksack with me. Uh, there's three of us in total and we're going to be hopefully summit camping. If not, we'll retreat back down uh, to Hare's Gap. Hair's gap. It's quite a tight wee bit just getting up there. This will be our full pack position tonight if we don't reach the summit of uh, Sleeve Burna. Uh, we'll, we'll fall back and retreat to here if the weather does close in. Uh, but that's our first objective net. We'll have a wee break here and then try to the summit of Burna. Operation tent. Um, I have to get the tent up, the rain's due in. The other side is really strong winds coming in south, southwest. Uh, so we'll have to get the tent up real, real quick uh, before the depression comes in with the wind and the rain, which is uh, to be here all night. So it's a bit of a rush to get everything together for the mango. Uh, Force 10 Vortex 300. I'll be standing out on this side, not much room on this side of the wall. Um, it has got a 
A beautiful view though. I see meat more there. We came up from down there, up to Hare's Gap. Uh, we climbed up over this tour of Sleeve Burna and we're in the saddle before the other tour. sorted out here in the tents, great having dual entrances and two porches. Uh, we're securing everything in the other porch and uh, starting to get our mats and sleeping bags in the tent now. Uh, Mr. Bushcraft is uh, working away at the other entrance, packing stuff in there and getting all our wet gear out. Working away putting the sleeping bags in. Guy yeah, starts all the arguments because he knows everything. Delicate operation. The hand to come across, Gonzalez swing by front and timing off a little bit, got himself caught with the right hand. Unfortunately, we couldn't carry the TV up to the top of Burna, so we're setting up here, listening to the radio for the Frampton fight. So we can leave himself exposed, but Gonzalez having none of it, just moved backward. Frampton again misses with the right, but gets him with the left. Every second or third punch, Frampton is is landing. Gonzalez hasn't really landed too much in the way of meaningful shots in this particular round. Frampton just pushing forward midway through the midway through the round, and then six more to go. Frampton again backs his man up and goes out his grins a little bit, knowing that he was caught with nothing too uh, worrisome. Hey people, um, after an extremely rough night, um, we're going to be making an attempt to get up. It's been blowing and raining all night, so uh, uh, we'll have to get up and do something. There's Mr. Bushcraft, there's Mountain Goat. <laughs> and as we look outside, it is still misty. We've had fell runners run past us there and different people for the last two hours, but we're, we're hoping the weather would improve. But it uh, looks like we're just going to have to get up, get the waterproofs on, get this sorted out. Uh, breakfast bar here and our little kitchen down here. Mr. Bushcraft. Okay, so Jacob can't be bothered getting out his spork or any cutlery, so he's just stir stirring his porridge with a banana. And how did that work for you? It actually worked perfectly. So there's a top tip for you. If you can't be bothered getting out your kit to get some uh, spoons out. Banana does just the same job for your pot of porridge. <laughs> 